The movie presents fire tests of the effectiveness of the ice spring system, which is a set of a fire hose reel with an automatic sprinkler system. It is designed for early detection, suppression and fire control of electric and hybrid vehicles in closed garages. The tests were carried out on the 7th and 8th of December 2022 by the team of Combustion and Explosion Laboratories Scientific and Research Centre for Fire Protection on the premises of Gras. As part of the study, two comparative tests were carried out. Test 1 with ice spring fire control. The second test was performed as a reference system and was carried out without extinguishing. The video shows the course of the first test. The test stand is a garage with three parking lots, equipped with the ice spring system installation, consisting of a sprinkler system and early detection. In order to simulate an electric vehicle fire, four lithium-ion battery modules with a capacity of 102 amper-hours each were used. The modules were placed under the middle vehicle in specific places in its rear part. Temperature measurement and recording at various points in the garage was carried out using K-type thermocapsules. The measurement of thermal radiation was made using three SBG-01 sensors. The value of thermal radiation intensity was recorded with a frequency of 5 Hz for each sensor. In order to assess the possibility of fire spreading, a vehicle simulating an electric vehicle was placed between two conventionally powered vehicles. Fuel tanks have been removed from all vehicles. Each battery has a burner with a thermal power up to 30 kW powered by propane. The duration of the entire test is 40 minutes. Test Start Ignition of Propane Burners In the conditions of the test, burners were used to start the ignition reaction of the batteries. In this situation, the ice spring early detection system would start sprinkling already when the battery fire was initiated. Therefore, for test purposes, the auto start on detection function has been disabled. Fifty eight seconds after burners ignited, the ice spring system detects and correctly locates a fire in the middle station. The explosion of the first cell of a lithium-ion battery cell immediately ignites the outer parts of the vehicle body. Explosion of another cell of a lithium-ion battery cell. The achieved power of the fire causes its self-spreading. Accordingly, the ice spring sprinkler system above the center station is now manually activated. Propane burners are removed. The temperature of the lithium-ion cells under the electric vehicle reaches 450 degrees Celsius. As a result of cooling with water from ice spring sprinklers, there is a lot of smoke in the building. Subsequent battery cells ignite spontaneously as a result of a chain reaction. Characteristic for the ignition and explosion of a lithium-ion cell are jet flames, a stream of flame that can reach up to 3 to 4 meters. It can also be one of the reasons for the rapid spread of fire to other vehicles. 10 minutes of fire. The temperature of the ceiling above the burning vehicle is only 50 degrees. On lithium-ion cells is 750 degrees. The reading from the thermal imaging camera indicates that the temperature of the body of the electric vehicles reaches 500 degrees. Each explosion is accompanied by a rapid increase in temperature and ignition of vehicle components. The ice spring sprinkler system effectively reduces the temperature of the fire. Temperature at the ceiling is 57 degrees. On lithium-ion cells, 457 degrees. The temperature at the ceiling of the neighboring vehicle is only 28.9 degrees.
Body temperature of the neighboring vehicle, 21 degrees. More than 35 minutes after the fire started. No further explosions may indicate burnout of all cells from four battery modules. The lack of new flames and the reduction of smoke are clearly visible. The fire was successfully inspected by the ice spring system. Therefore, after 40 minutes, the test is completed and the wreck is secured by the firefighters from OSP Kozubia unit. Completely burnt interior of a vehicle simulating an electric vehicle. One hundred forty four degrees is average temperature under the ceiling during the entire test. 25 degrees is the average temperature on the body of neighboring vehicles during the entire test. No visible damage of any kind on neighboring vehicles. No signs of damage to the ceiling structure. The lithium ion battery cells were completely burnt out. The left photo shows the result of a 40-minute effective control of an electric vehicle fire in a garage by the ice spring system. Vehicles in adjacent parking lots remained unaffected. The facility still has an efficient electrical system and can be used after removing the wreck. In the right photo, the result of an uncontrolled electric fire in a garage for 40 minutes. All vehicles were completely burned. The electrical installation is damaged. The concrete is detached on the ceiling and the construction rods are exposed. The facility must be taken out of use. The conducted tests of the ice spring system confirm the effectiveness of early detection, proper localization and indication of the fire location, as well as effective control against the spread of fire to other vehicles and building elements. Continuous water spraying made it possible to significantly reduce the temperature and obtain favorable conditions for rescue operations for fire brigades. The ice spring system is one of the most effective automatic fire control systems for electric vehicles designed for existing and newly designed facilities. More information can be found on the website www.gras.pl.